Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the real difference between supervised and unsupervised learning, and I've given a ton of hints and information about that before with the examples, but now we're really ready to kind of more formally define the difference. It's really important to fully understand. So let me draw a line down the middle here and just say, okay, so the right is unsupervised, so here, and the left is supervised. So for supervised, we had the examples of classification and regression, okay? So classification was trying to predict what class something belonged to, like cat or dog, and regression was predicting a continuous value. And there's also some other examples, so these are the two most common. Unsupervised learning, we talked about clustering, which is easily the most common uh, unsupervised algorithm. And so in classification and regression, we're trying to, given inputs, try to memorize the pattern or kind of figure out the pattern between the input X and the output Y so that when we didn't have the output Y, we could actually predict that given the X that we still do have. Clustering was basically, I was trying to make sure you don't think of the Y axis or whatever, the other axis in the graph as some sort of output, some sort of predicted value or real label, whatever it is. It's not some sort of, prediction or output it is just another variable that we're talking about for the input because we're just looking and trying to do something at the input okay and that still should be you know not make that much sense until i really define this here so here we would we're usually given this is i'm going to draw our like our training set of information is basically we're given stuff like this we're given in supervised learning x x y so I'll say x1, y2, or sorry, y1. So above, I'm just saying like, this is the first x, this is the first y. It's just saying like, you know, this, this training example in particular, this is just one person. Okay, so we have their input and their output. And we have all the way up until, say, the nth person, we have this information. Okay, so for n people, we have their input x and their output y. But for clustering, we don't really think about it that way. If we think about it as you have just not even pairs, you just have x1 and you have x2, okay? Up until xn, and I know on the left I drew, uh, I skipped the two, on the right I have the two, it doesn't matter. In each situation we have n people, except on the left we think about it as some sort of corresponding output that we have, and on the right, it's just data points, okay? So in clustering, we're just looking at some graph and it's like, okay, here's our data points. Um, well, I'm gonna try and group them. In the left, supervised learning, I'll do regression here. It was just a bunch of data points and we were saying, okay, uh, let me try to do this output, make this line so that in the future when we had more data points, we could just predict, say, okay, given your x, I think it's here, I think it's here, I think it's here, based off of this x value, okay? And so here's the difference is in the, the data points here, is it's a y here, which is saying the output, and in clustering, there's no sort of output. They call it supervised learning because that's your supervisor right there is your why it's us saying okay no this was your correct answer for this input your correct answer what we tried to predict was why it's supervised because we're given that in the training process clustering we're not really given that it's just saying okay we have your data points uh cluster them group them say what group they belong to and there's no sort of correct answer we're never given feedback that's like yes you were right they do belong to that group that doesn't exist it's just simply saying you you know your fitness membership you have a, all of these people at the gym and it's like okay there's no correct answer of what group they belong to there's nothing in their head saying i belong to group a or whatever it's just you figuring it out grouping them saying no no no, i'm going to say that you belong in group one no, no no you belong in group two so the difference supervised i want to really drill that in your head supervised learning is there's a supervisor it's that y value that true label you know very common say the true label whatever that input was that's the label for it we have that but for clustering we don't have that what's again tricky is that although in the training process of the model we have the y values the point is that in the future we get a training or a different set of information 
where we have just their inputs. Okay, so we actually just have these values xn. Okay, so we have just the inputs so that we can use this to predict the y values. All right, so hopefully that made sense. If not, we're still going to go over all of them in detail, and that's when it's really, really going to make sense. So don't worry about that. I will see you in the first video of supervised learning where we go over some of these techniques. I'll see you there.